Good afternoon. Welcome. I'm Susan and welcome to From Pantry to Table. Today we're going to do a chicken and butternut squash dish. I came up with this oh probably a couple years ago and it's really one of our favorites. I'm going to start off, I've got a skillet that's pretty hot here and I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of olive oil in the bottom. Or you could use avocado oil or any oil you choose. I got that going there. Now I'm going to salt and pepper this chicken. I've got two small chicken breasts cut into cubes and we're going to uh, do some salt and pepper on it. Before we put it in the skillet and, and saute it. Let's just toss it around here. Looks good. I do a lot of meals with chicken. How about you? It's kind of, uh, I don't know that it's better than beef. We do like beef, that's for sure. i turn this down just a tad here. There we go. I'm going to throw this in. We're going to saute this. Oh, great sound. Okay. Now we're going to put that in there. We're going to leave it alone for a few minutes until it, uh, So it cooks on the bottom, then we'll turn it up. And I'm hoping we don't have a problem with the smoke detector. Wouldn't that be something, have the smoke detector go off just as you're doing your, your cooking? Okay, let's get this going. Oh, it looks good. Okay, let's get this going. This is probably going to take a few minutes. You know, I, I like to do everything from your pantry to your table. Every once in a while there's going to be something on here that is not exactly in your pantry. And one of those today is a spice called Zatar, C-A-A-T-A-R. It's a Middle Eastern spice. Uh, it's got sesame in it and I forget what else. A lot of different spices. We're going to use this, if you don't have this, Please don't get it just for this recipe. Use Italian seasoning if you can. You can use that and it'll just, just be just as good. So, Susan, why, why do you use uh, chicken breast? Well, I mean, we're doing this, it's going to be like in a bowl with bite-sized pieces. Otherwise, you could probably do, um, thighs are awfully good. They're so delicious. Got a lot of flavor to them. But when you've got little bite-sized pieces in a bowl, you don't want to buy. You have to cut that up pretty good. Let's get this going here. So you you just put that in there without oil or anything? No, I put a quarter of a cup of olive oil in the bottom. So so that's that olive oil there? Right here. And, and I don't know, I hope you've seen this in some of my other videos. This is a chef's bottle of extra virgin olive oil. You can refill this. And it's just a, like a squirt bottle. It's handy for you know cooking just a little oil, for salad dressings. And like I said, you could uh, refill it. I find it's easier to handle than the big bottles of olive oil. Oh, you were so smart. Oh, what well, can I tell you? Live and learn. You know, I didn't get this old by not learning anything, hopefully. So we're going to get this. Uh, this is almost done. We want it to where it's not pink yet. Okay, it's been about, I guess about 15 minutes. We're going to take all this chicken out of the pot. And I have put it in a clean bowl. I didn't put it in the same bowl as the raw chicken, so don't be alarmed. This is going to take forever to find kind of little things. We'll just scoop it up. I'm going to take this off heat, set it aside, and then we're going to put some vegetables in here. We're going to cook those. You're going to cook the same... Chicken smell. You're, you're going to cook vegetables in the same pot? Yeah. But why? Because it's a one-pot meal. 
Surprise! Go, go okay. Surprise! Okay, who's going to set this up? But are, are you trying to incorporate the uh, uh, chicken into the vegetables? Well, we have or? some, uh, look here, we have some fawn down here in the bottom. So we're going to do that. And I've got one cup of diced onion, three stalks of celery, and one large carrot diced. So we're going to put what do they call that a mirror cloth? Three, three vegetables. How did they find this recipe, Susie? Well, I saw one similar on a cooking show and thought, nah, I don't want to do that, but maybe I could do a little twist here. So is, is this on your blog? It's not on my blog yet, but it's going to be. By the time the, the video airs, it'll be on my blog. So we're going to cook, cook these vegetables, and it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. I'm going to add just a tad more olive oil here. Keep those going. You go, girl. How about it? <laughs> okay, now I've also, if you can see this, added, this is half of a butternut squash cube. So I put that in there with the, the vegetables. And this is going to cook, like I said, for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes until they're softened. And then we'll finish it up. Okay. We cook these with the squash. It's almost tender. Now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. And we're going to have to cook this for about an hour until everything's cooked thoroughly. So we're going to add the chicken back in the vegetables here. Put that back in there. Now we're going to add some garlic. You, you usually <laughs> use fresh garlic though. I normally use fresh garlic, but we didn't have fresh garlic at one point, so I bought some of this um, minced garlic, and I really do need to use it up, so going to put in about two teaspoons. I can smell like that. Two cloves. Mm -hmm. What's that? I can smell that. Well, yeah, you can. It's wow. Got, got quite the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, we have we have garlic now, don't we? We do have garlic now. Now, I've got... I've got a quart of tomatoes here. It says one 28-ounce can of tomatoes. But I just have a quart of tomatoes that we canned this summer. And I'm just going to pour it in there, juice and all. Why don't you, why don't you tell people where you got those tomatoes and, and what's going on with them? When we moved to, uh, well, let me back up. We were in South Dakota this summer. We were still living there. And uh, tomatoes for canning were like $3.99 a pound. Well, at $3.99 a pound, you can't afford a whole lot of tomatoes to can. So I didn't. But then we moved to Minnesota, northern Minnesota, where there are a lot of Amish and Old Order Mennonite. They wanted a dollar a pound for these tomatoes. So I stopped unpacking our household so I could can, I don't know, like 48 quarts of tomatoes. And we did about, um, what did we do? About 18 quarts of, of salsa, of salsa, something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, we did all that, and after we were done with that, then I could unpack the rest of our household. But everything went on on uh, hold while we uh, while we did all these tomatoes. I mean, you couldn't pass it up. They were beautiful tomatoes. All right, now I'm going to use two tablespoons of tomato paste. Put that in. What was this guy's name? Was it Owen? Owen was his name. He's uh, north of Leonard. North of Leonard, Montana. Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, um, I think he was Old Order Mennonite. He was Old Order. I'm not sure. I, th I think they said that the Old Order Mennonite, the men don't, sh the men do shave, whereas the Amish, the married men, do not shave. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've got a cup of 
chicken broth that I'm going to add. I didn't have any chicken broth in the cans or the box like they come in. So I used this better than bouillon, which is just as good, I think. It's not as convenient as opening up a can of bouillon and putting it in there. But it lasts a long time, too. So we're going to add a cup of bouillon. Well, just aren't you smart? No, I don't know about that. It's just you use what you have. That's exactly what you do. You use what you have. Now we've got za'atar. You said earlier that if you don't have za'atar, you can use Italian? You can use Italian dressing. So I'm going to put in about a teaspoon and a half of za'atar. What, what does that look like on your hand? Show us. You know, I probably should uh, look up what all seasonings are in here. We'll, we'll do that before we come back and finish it off. But this is what it looks like. You can see the sesame seeds in there. So I'm going to dump that in there. And you know what? I put that salt and pepper away, but I'm going to bring it back out because I think we need more salt and pepper. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little more pepper to it and a little more salt. We do have salt in the broth, so we don't need a whole lot. And of course, that's to your taste also. To break up some of these tomatoes and stir in the, the tomato paste. All right, now we're going to cook this. We're going to simmer it for about an hour until everything is cooked thoroughly and uh, all the flavors are melded together. Get all that stuff down there so we can cook and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll be back in about an hour. Okay, well, welcome back. I told you I'd look up to see what za'atar was made of. It's dried herbs of oregano, margarine, thyme, cumin, coriander, and sesame seeds, and sumac. Who knew? But anyway, it's a Middle Eastern spice that I think you'd enjoy if you tried it. But like I said, don't, don't buy it for just this one recipe. You can use uh, Italian seasoning. All right, we're all done with our our chicken and our squash and all these vegetables and tomatoes. I'm going to show you how to plate this. We like this in a bowl. Don't don't forget to give me a fork. Want a fork or a spoon? Whatever you think. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna top this with a little parsley, just to make it look a little nicer. And you know what? I think just been since you've been such a good boy. All right. I'm going to give you a roll to go with no that. No kidding. Yep. So this is how I would serve it. Actually, I'd serve it with a piece of crusty bread, but we don't have crusty bread, so we're going to use it in a dinner roll. But this is this is chicken with butternut squash. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, blessings to you and your family. <laughs>